in one side, and then the waveguide, which is what we build, and then the other side is just completely just a regular glass. Is it micro LED? Micro LED on this LED. side. Yep. So that's like groundbreaking. Nobody else is doing micro LED. Not yet. No. Commercial. We you we make this available? Yeah. So we have it. This is what we call the ultralights. This is our new Earth's product. Um, not yet available in the market. So we're making this as an OEM factor. Uh, but on the market, we actually have the real uh, dual display OEM glasses, so we can go here this way. So this, you also use the micro LED technology. And you see that now there are two eyes. So this is a binocular display. All right, it's got bigger batteries. Yep, so this runs. So the difference is, this is just a display for your phone. So it doesn't have the battery. No, no, it needs to use your phone as the power. It need, no, it needs to use your phone as a processor. It has a battery in here. Ah, there is battery. There is a battery in there. Yeah, yeah, and that's why you see little pins, charging mats. Right. Uh, this one has 2,000 milliamps of power because it actually this actually runs Android 11. So this is its own Android device. The other one is just a uh, display only. Yep. For Type C. Yes, sir. And this one is. Uh, Stand alone. Yep. You well, don't need no, yeah, else. this is Bluetooth, not even Type C. No need to Type C. You can do the display wirelessly. Yep, wireless. That. Yep. Yep. That's how it works right now. All right. Continue. Uh, but this is so, so compact. What's yep. the display resolution in there? So this is a limited resolution. Right now, these are just the OEM factor that we have to show people what we can do. So um, this is. 656 length by 400 uh, uh, height, so it's around a, 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 an NVGA resolution. All right, uh, that's cool. Music's uh, here, the Mobile World Congress. Yep. This is the future of mobile phones. This is, so what we see right now is with technology like this, so you are gonna completely leave your phone in your pocket. We're, you're the, we're not gonna replace the phone just yet. You have the 4G, 5G connectivity, the chipsets, so that will stay in your pocket and then you will have your display, that will be your glasses. So your notifications, your translations, your, na your navigation, and you can check out on LinkedIn and online and you can see we actually were through, going through Barcelona with the glasses, going navigation, doing live translations, all of that. Uh, there's so much potential applications. What's he talking about on the wall here? Um, enabling AR with innovation. Yeah, what is so, that about? So that is about the ultralight. So one of the things that we also do is we all are also an OEM. So we partner with other big companies. And what, they, what we do is we sell the products, the micro projectors or the waveguides, and then they can build their own products. So that is the beauty of what we do. So you enable an ecosystem of smart glass yep. brands. Yep. Not only Vuzix. Not just Vuzix. Could right. be, maybe you've, you've seen something cool out there and it's actually a partnership. That is it, yep. So that's that's why a lot of people haven't heard of Vuzix. We've been around for 27 years and it's that's one of the reasons, right? Uh, we concentrate on the commercial industrial market, but we also create stuff like this to be able to sell it to other people. And um, you work with any brand in any country? We work with any brand in Chinese, any country. Chinese, you happy to work with them? We were happy we work. We're, we're a multinational company. So we got, we got uh, uh, locations in Munich, Germany, in Japan, in the US, in Latin America, and we have distributors all over, so. What, why is it, why do you have here? So one of the things that you gotta understand is, any smart glass is nothing without the ISVs, the software providers. Just like your smartphone, right? Without all those apps, without that ecosystem, they cannot do anything, right? They're just basic hardware. So YDM and GemVision, they're two of our partners. So they do remote support solutions. They do um, they do uh, workflows. Yep. So it looks like this. Yep. So the guys are working device. actually in uh, big factories and big, yep. uh, or maybe they're working on repairing. On repair. Apps. Yep. Yep. Or cars. So, so the, you, are this, you can use, you use the camera to work hands free, have an expert help you. We can give you guys a demo. Um, or you could do workflows. So, what workflows does and has done, it allows any person to be trained on the fly. 
So instead of having to sit them down and train them in a facility, you can send them with a personal market and say, follow those instructions. And that will be exactly what you're going to do at work. How to repair a machine, how to do maintenance, uh, um, how to maybe build something, uh, build a new assembly line. And they, with the power of Widium, they help us. And you have some that are kind of like optimized for using with helmets? Or yeah, what is this so, design? so this is our unique design. We call it the rail system. So this is just a battery. So you see the unique rail system where we have dismount solutions for over uh, 20 other different systems. So you can integrate it in different hard hats. So regular hard hats, uh, Japanese ancient hard hats. You can integrate it into headbands, into medical equipment. So this allows you to have a flexibility of being able to, to have it in different locations. So, and also, the uniqueness that a lot of other smart glasses cannot, you can change this on the fly for your comfortability. So in the world, most uh, around 74% of the people are right eye oriented. That means that you like to use your right eye more. So with this, you can actually ch change it on the fly from left to right and vice versa. The software does everything else. And it's very high quality in there? Yeah, so this runs a micro OLED. So this is an OLED display. <clears throat> OLED or LED? OLED. 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 This is OLED. So you got uh, DLP projection. So you have micro OLED. You have micro, OLED. Yep, you have micro LED. Yep. You do all the technology. All of the technology. So you can see right there. Oops. Let me try to focus on it for a second. So this is the little display. And that is actually in hand. So that is a micro OLED. Right. And it's on right now? Yep. Oh, there I see it. Something. There I see it. So it's nice resolution, very, very clear. Yep. Uh, this could be useful for maybe surgeons or yep. so even 2020 people uh, are, who are remote in some uh, disaster zones, but they need to get the expertise from somebody else. They, they already do that. So in 2020, there were around 450,000 surgical operations done with our smart glasses. Um, so they use them for knee replacement open heart surgery uh, for war efforts or in for example for the red cross hazard glasses and they use it in ukraine to support remote to remote health care so they already are using our glasses in all those That's amazing yep. because uh the the best surgeons maybe they're in new york or somewhere yes and they want to help people on the other side of the yep. planet so maybe example, in haiti yep. or anywhere so an example that we that we actually did uh, we partner with other partners like ohana one uh, and they have uh, some of our glasses over again, like I said, over there in the Ukraine. Uh, one of the examples is they, they needed a, pedi a pediatric surgeon. And one of the best ones is in uh, California. So they contacted him and he was able to help the people on the ground to the startling system to be able to perform an operation, a pediatric operation. So, that's so maybe one he's, of the uh, he can see what's happening he can see and then he exactly. can show them at the same time what they should do Yep. Uh, Two centimeters to the right, one centimeter to the left. Don't do this. Hold do it that. like this. Yep. Be careful there. Yep. Etc. Yep. Exactly. And real time with the sound. Real time. And video. Sound and video. Yep. And then the surgeon is also hands free. That's the key. The surgeon can still use his hands and his vision just to keep operating. And then, uh, if people have, like, a Ferrari, <laughs> and they are in Dubai, and they need to call Italy, how do I fix it? Maybe they use it also, or something can, like that. Yeah, so they have, uh, that's a little bit more of a remote support kind of tool. Uh, for the industrial side, yes, they do it, but not for necessarily Ferraris, but for helicopters, airplane repairs, helicopter repairs, stuff that is more, more uh, technical in the sense of you need a very specialty uh, uh, realm to be able to support it. So what they do is they send a level one technician out and then they keep the high-level engineers on the office floor and they guide the low-level engineers uh, or technicians how to do their performance. And maybe also it could be useful for training new employees yep. in like a Tesla factory or something. Yep, yep. We use, and we then they workforce. can all wear this for the first two, three months and somebody is helping them become better and better at their work. Yep, that's what they do. That's what Weedium does, yep. All right, so it's a really cool company, right? Yep, yep. A lot yep. of cool uh, applications but also bringing this form factor to millions of people, hopefully, yeah. soon. Because uh, it, I don't see a difference between normal smart, uh, normal glasses. Yeah, they look exactly like that's the whole point. That's why, that's why the there's weight. no microphones. 
There's no microphones in here, there's no cameras, because we want them to look just like regular glasses. All right, it's just a display? Yep, just a display. And I see it there when I move yep. a bit. Is it on, do you think? Yeah. No, no, yeah, that's a waveguide reflection, yeah. Waveguide, I see it sometimes. Yeah, I can turn And you actually do the waveguides. We do. experts in waveguides. Yeah, that's what we do. Optics, yep. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So it's been a good show. Yeah, it was a New great show. New things happening. It's great to have people travel from the US and come again to Europe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we've been here. We never left. As soon as this was open, music was here. So. And as soon as all the AR stuff happens, you'll be ready. We'll be ready. As soon as uh, all the metaverse integration with reality, everything all the people are talking about. Yeah, once that becomes a reality, you will probably be using our hardware in some level or other. So. Okay.